All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. You said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. The Loire welcome. We had this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Take it. You deserve it. I recognize the trust you had to have to put the holler. The only way black folks stand a chance in this city is if we commit to each other. Give me more territory and I'll do right by you.
Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought he'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get Point for Dunn back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, he better be worth all this trouble. Burke's just this side of a lunatic, but he's a lunatic who wants to sell dead. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner will give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go... Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Oh, watch yourself around my files. There's a system.
course, Greco would just let us kill the post some bitch and get it over with. Nah, Greco wants to show how tough he is. Beat on old Vito till we all respect him. Cracker Richie in makes some kind of sense. Huh? Vito's Who let you never see it coming? It's like Christmas coming. Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah. I'm not fucking ready, man. ourselves a guest. I'm gonna piss on your corpse. I got the front. We got ourselves a guest. Come tussle with a motherfucker. He ticked off the wrong white boy. Shots came from that away. Maybe I should look over there. They shoot some shit up uh, over there. Shoot him for fuck's sake. Uh, I have to run now, boy. Uh, uh, that had to fucking hurt. Too late to run now, boy.
Don't you know you're dead? So much blood. Look at all the blood. Look who I found. Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh, what are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. Once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. What's your partners now? As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want so goodbye, Marcano, Hello, Lincoln, Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody 
Santos, that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. <laughs>